Hi guys, today is October 19, 2020 and uh, futures are pointing to a higher open as uh, investors are hoping uh, for a deal from Washington as uh, Nancy Pelosi and, uh, and uh, Secretary Mnuchin were talking over the weekend and uh, they said they will continue the talks on Monday and uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi gave uh, the administration 48 hours to reach a deal uh, if, uh, they want, if they want to de make a deal before the election. So uh, people are optimistic, especially investors are optimistic, but uh, rising uh, uh, COVID uh, cases uh, 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 are keeping the optimism at bay. So we'll see what happens, but uh, let's jump to SPY, as ATF or S&P 500, and uh, SPY is... Uh, Looking like it's uh, in the choppy ter territory, and it's going to be in you know enhanced volatility uh, in the next uh, few weeks. So I would be careful here, and uh, but still uh, I expect uh, uh, the market to go a little bit higher. But uh, it would be the gains will be kept. So I would be careful. Um, uh, was buying too many things here okay so let's jump to corporate news and before we do that if you want to see my trades on pretty much everyday basis uh, my portfolio you can check out the uh, patreon link in the description okay so let's jump to uh, uh, Pfizer and BioNTech that's uh, PFE and uh, uh, BNTX which I'm mostly interested in. Uh, so Pfizer and Biotech uh, uh, reported that their vaccine candidate could be ready for emergency use authorization by late November. And Pfizer and uh, Biotech are scaling up manufacturing cap capability. So uh, looks like uh, uh, these two companies are a frontliner uh, on the front line uh, to have a vaccine. Uh, uh, at the end of the year and uh, it looks like uh, uh, these companies uh, will have it so uh, PFE is a very slow stock uh, in my opinion and uh, I wouldn't I don't know if I want to buy PFE because uh, even if they have a vaccine it's not going to be uh, it's going to be a, a, a reputation a lift for them but uh, at the same time it's not going to be a big lift for a stock in my opinion but uh, I would uh, definitely buy buy and tax uh, BioNTech. Okay, so it's a German company uh, working with collaboration uh, collaboration uh, with Pfizer, and uh, I think the shares may go actually higher than that. BNTX. Okay, VFC. VF Corp. Okay, so VF Corp. It's a maker of North Face. Uh, reported uh, earnings of 67 cents versus 49 cents expected, and announced dividend increase by one cent. And uh, usually people just buy VFC uh, before winter uh, stock. Uh, it's just uh, in my experience. So and it's looking actually pretty good. It's been trading in the same range pretty much all the time. But uh, you see the golden. Uh, Cross here. Uh, that's when the 50-day moving moving average uh, crossing the 200-day moving average. That's a very bullish sign. So um, and it's not overbought or anything like that. So I would be buying uh, VFC um, on these news. Okay, SLB. Slumberger. Um, it's an oil equipment company, and uh, they reported quarterly uh, earnings of 16 cents, 3 cents above estimates, but uh, revenue came in below. And uh, in general, even though I like Flamberger more than uh, just other oil companies, but uh, uh, still, it's an it's uh, an oil uh, related company, so I would I would stay away from this at this point uh, right now. Okay, if you want to uh, establish new position, I would just stay away. Okay, HPE, Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So Hewlett Packard raised its fiscal 2021 outlook, saying uh, its uh, COVID had prompted an, an acceleration in the need for remote work solutions. Um, in general, uh, HPE has been trading uh, in pretty much the same range for a long time, and uh, I think the shares may actually go higher, but you have to be patient with them. Ford. So Ford reported a uh, 25% uh, year-over-year increase in China sales, and uh, in general, uh, Ford uh, shares are, has been creeping a little bit higher. But uh, it could be an interesting buy to me, but it's a long-term buy. Um, but uh, to all choose a much better buy for me is Tesla. 
Okay, so uh, Tesla is uh, what uh, Tesla is uh, rising this morning after what Bush analyst uh, Dan Eves raised price target to uh, uh, 500 uh, from 475 and uh, maintain neutral ratings on uh, Q3 deliveries and China demand. <clears throat> As you may already know, Tesla is uh, set to report earnings on uh, Wednesday after the bell, and uh, uh, who knows what uh, what w they will say. But in general, I like the the technical setup for Tesla, and uh, in general, it's a long term story. And uh, if you believe in the electric vehicles, uh, you must be in Tesla. And uh, it's been criticized uh, for uh, years uh, for the for its price uh, for its stock price. But uh, I think. Uh, people underestimating uh, that uh, Tesla is not only an automotive company, it's uh, like Musk said, it's a laptop on wheels. So uh, if they report uh, good delivery numbers and uh, uh, other uh, maybe improvements in uh, batteries and uh, maybe pro uh, other prospects uh, with the gigafactories, the shares may go higher and may take an all time high, but uh, you have to be careful again. I mean, it's uh, trading at a high multiple, so uh, you have to be very much much risk adverse uh, with uh, Tesla to buy the shares, but uh, in general, I like the setup. Okay, so uh, Helium. Okay, Helium doesn't have any particular news, but uh, Helium uh, shares have been under pressure recently, and it's been brutal uh, for Helium after they came out with the IPO and the, the shares reached uh, $58. Uh, uh, $58 uh, back in uh, like uh, September or something. It's been brutal for Helium. It's been coming down uh, very fast and uh, because of the number of shares uh, um, available and uh, because people are trying to uh, sell um, their uh, shell shares and uh, many Helium shareholders uh, have the ability to sell right now. So it's a lot of shares on hand and a lot of supply on hand and Helium has been under pressure and it may continue to be under pressure until this uh, uh, extra supply uh, is taken care of, but in general, if you believe in a long-term story for Helium, and uh, and uh, as I am, and uh, I believe in technology, they have the actual product, and uh, their trucks can go like uh, uh, with the range of uh, as many as 1,300 miles on one charge. So it's a very good long-term story, and uh, if you believe in this uh, company, I think the shares may go higher, but it's been it's going to be under pressure for. Uh, for a little while helium okay so ba boeing so uh, boeing 737 max is safe to return to service according to europe's uh, top aviation regulator and um, uh, european union aviation safety agency Ex executive director said that the agency expects to issue a draft air worsenness directive next month so in general in anticipation of this uh, um, 737 max coming back to service maybe it's a good idea to buy ba shares so uh, it's been trading in this pretty much in the same same range for a very long time and i think it could be ready to uh, come out of this range higher okay neo Okay, people ask me about NIO all the time, and uh, NIO has been on fire recently. After last uh, week, JP Morgan and Citigroup have been, have both upgraded the stock to buy from neutral, uh, and uh, with the price targets of thirty three twenty and forty dollars. And uh, in general, NIO is a good company, and I like the company. I recommended the company before, but at this point of time, it's trading at very high valuation, RSI almost eighty two, and uh, I would wait for NIO shares to come down a little bit before I buy it. Okay. ISRG. Intuitive Surgical reported earnings uh, previously of 277 beating 207 estimates and the company said that the uh, procedures performed by its uh, Da Vinci surgical uh, robot have staged a significant rebound. Okay, so it's a very innovative company and I remember this company, I was buying this company for $55 or, uh, or even lower than that uh, years ago and now it's, uh, what, it's trading at uh, 758 So uh, in general, I think the, uh, the company has a big future and as soon as we have a vaccine, as soon as the, there's a, uh, there's a uh, company that produces the vaccine, uh, this uh, ISRG will uh, uh, will uh, rebound uh, strongly, and it's uh, it's trading. Uh, it seems like it's trading at an all time high, but it's not overbought, and I think it's the, the shares still buy ISRG. Okay, Caterpillar. 
Caterpillar um, uh, was uh, upgraded by Volkswagen um, uh, to overweight from uh, equal weight in anticipation of significant earnings improvement in 2021. Caterpillar is pretty much a China story. And uh, if uh, Joe Biden takes uh, the presidency and uh, uh, people think that, uh, that the tensions between China and U.S. could be uh, nudged down, and uh, that could benefit Caterpillar, and that's pretty much a China play at this point. So on the uh, fact that uh, uh, Joe Biden may win the, uh, the White House. Uh, and uh, so, but it's trading uh, very high uh, right now. Uh, trading was uh, the RSI, what, like uh, 75, 76. I will just let the shares to come down before I buy it, even if you're interested in uh, Caterpillar. Okay, fastly. Okay, so people have been asking me about fastly, no, no particular news, but they... Uh, last week they reported that they will have um, uh, their revenue 5% uh, uh, less than expected and uh, shares uh, took a huge hit and uh, came down like what 35% from its uh, recent high of 136 or maybe even more than that. But in general, I think it's too early to buy Fastly. It's just too early to buy it. Uh, I want to see if it can hold this uh, support line around uh, 78 80 dollars. And if it does hold, uh, then I would be um, a buyer. But right now, I think it's just too early to buy Fastly here. Okay, AZN. AstraZeneca. So AstraZeneca um, said that they're, uh, they're preparing for a mass rollout of its uh, vaccine being developed uh, by uh, Oxford University and uh, manufactured by AstraZeneca. And it could, uh, the mass rollout could take place as soon as um, after Christmas, according to London Sunday Times. So AstraZeneca had uh, some problems uh, in uh, their vaccine trials, but right now it looks like they're on a good path. And uh, I would buy AstraZeneca here, A-Z-N, okay, H-S-Y. So HSY um, uh, is a Hershey company, and City began coverage with the buy rating, and uh, City said that the Hershey's sales were pressured by pandemic, but it sees significant uh, potential for future growth. So uh, in general, so in general, I think it's really good setup for Hershey HSY, and uh, at least a technical setup, and I would be buying shares on this uh, uh, upgrade. Okay, CVS. CVS is planning to hire 15,000 employees, including uh, more than 10,000 pharmacy technicians, to prepare for jump in COVID cases and potential vaccine rollout. Uh, so CVS uh, has been under pressure for a while, and uh, they've been trading in the same range, but looks like they're ready to uh, for a breakout higher. So I would establish a small uh, position in uh, CVS. Okay, PHG. Kind of like Philips. Cunning like like Philips. Okay, it's a health technology company reported Burst and expected the third quarter results. The company is seeing increased demand for hospital equipment, and uh, it's an interesting buy in my opinion. PHG and uh, the shares may go higher from here. And uh, as uh, I mean, the hospital equipment obviously right now in demand is. Uh, the future pandemic, the the second wave, uh, people are pre preparing for a second wave of uh, COVID cases, and uh, this could uh, work well. Okay, PhD, and the last one I'll give you is uh, American Airlines. Okay, so American Airlines is planning a December return for 737 Max Jet. And A will schedule uh, a daily flight between Miami and New York on the max uh, between December 29th through January 4th. So uh, an interesting setup for American Airlines has been trading in the same, same, very same range for a very long time. And, uh, you know, a small position of warranted is not my favorite airline. My favorite is uh, Delta and uh, uh, Southwest, but in general, could be an interesting buy for me and for American Airlines. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and I'll see you Thursday.